everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your graphics card, uh, or graphics card per se, uh, using Sapphire Tricks. Uh, this is a utility I prefer. Um, there's a variety of different utilities out there that will uh, overclock your cards, um, but I find this one to be most user friendly for me. Uh, again, personal preference. Uh, so after you download Sapphire Tricks, you're going to go ahead and you're going to open up the client. And you're presented with this a uh, couple different tabs. It'll show you. I have two. To, I have two cards, but if you have one to four cards, you can select them all here to get you know the different um, information on them. Uh, you have your overclocking tab, uh, your settings, your fan control. I don't use this at all. All my stuff's water cooled, so I don't use the fan speed at all or fan control that is um, on any of the cards. Settings important. To, Important to note, if you are using SLI or uh, Crossfire, you're going to want to go ahead and synchronize your cards up with the uh, with this tab right here. Uh, I always force constant voltage, keep things smooth, and you will need to disable the ULPS. After this has been disabled, you'll need to restart your system for you to even be able to begin overclocking your card. Um, as far as the overclocking tab itself, as you can see, these are my stock clocks. Um, basically I do have the 79 uh, 7970s uh, which out of the box are 925 1375 and 1.168 volts uh, down here at the bottom you have profiles that you can use you can uh, set these how you want them and save them for a variety of different tasks once you boot up um, I go ahead and I use um, these for that uh, basically out of the box on air. Um, I use this as my stock now, my stock voltage. Um, but with my cars, this this is easy to get on air out of the box. Um, so that's why I have that set as one. Uh, for games, if I want to play games, um, I have a 75 hertz monitor um, as well. And so I V-sync my cards to that, so I get 75 frames per second, 75 hertz monitor, very, very smooth. Uh, this allows me to do that easily. Uh, not to say that I couldn't do more, but honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't see any improvement over 75 frames per second on this monitor itself. If I were to be benchmarking, this is what I use for benchmarking. So I would apply that and I could go into Cinebench or any of the benchmarking tools that I use and benchmark my cards. Um, yeah, so that that's basically it. Tra uh, Sapphire Tricks. Um, oh, one more important thing to note. You do not need to have a Sapphire card to use this program. Um, none of Both my cards are not Sapphire cards. So don't get that confused. You can use this with your cards. Um, that being said, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I will be posting some benchmarks for everyone to see at these settings so everyone gets an idea of just how fast those 7970 suckers are. Thank you for watching.